Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. Welcome to today's video. One glass of wine a day can make a really big difference when it comes to our inside and health benefits with respects to grapes. In this case, red grapes are a lot more health, a lot healthier if you want. Sorry for the word, the wording there. A lot healthier than white wine. And why is this true? Well, the truth and the reality of wine consumption has been very, very largely researched in Europe because there are there are countries in their entirety which tend to live longer in this population just because they eat certain foods. And that's what we call a uh, demographical study or a populational study where we see how many people or the amount of people in respects to what they eat are actually improving their health or living longer. One of those ingredients is red wine. And there is plenty of research that I'm, show, I'm going to show you today about one glass of wine every single day. In fact, there's something called the French paradox, meaning that French people might not eat all that healthy, but they tend to live longer just because they might be consuming more olive oil or red wine, one glass of wine a day. And that's what we're gonna look in at today's video. So don't forget to give this video a like button. Don't forget that we are live. If you have a question, if you have something you want, you want answered, please leave a comment and I will get to it as soon as I can. Or if you're watching this video later on, you might want to sip some wine while you watch it and learn something that is sometimes life-changing, right? So first of all, what is wine? Wine is simply the juice out of the red grape that is fermented maybe over the maybe over the time of a year, two years, five years, ten years. The more it ages, the better it tastes. Now, that red wine we're looking at, a very good color of red wine is telling us that there is probably a lot more of those health benefits and ingredients and components that are going to change uh, the way you see health inside your body with respects to a wine that looks kind of watery. That's the truth, all right? So let's go ahead and look at wine and what wine does for your health. There are thousands of studies, okay? Thousands of studies. And when I started to look at this, at this, um, at this video and how I was going to present it, the truth and the reality is that if, we, if we're going to go and look at one study and another study, it's just not going to end ever. So I looked at reviews. Reviews are just basically a compendium of many studies put into one paper where they tell you basically what the benefits or what the conclusions are of most of the studies that have been researched, okay? So it's it's a I think it's a better outlook of what we're looking at, a better a better insight of what we're looking at, right? So first of all, red wine and the consumption of cardiovascular health. If you're a wine drinker, now, I'm going to say I'm not, right? I may take a cup of wine every now and then, every week, every every month at, at the most. But uh, if you're one of those drinkers, I, I actually suggest you don't take more than maybe four fingers of a cup of wine, a, a glass of wine, when you're taking it at least once a day. Because if you go over that, you're not going to see health benefits. You might be, you might see health damage. And there are many studies to prove this because of the alcohol contained in that glass of wine. But the mechanisms responsible for all these health benefits that scientists have been talking about have to do a lot with lipid profiles, the control of cholesterol that might happen with the taking of that one glass of wine every day, the reduction of insulin resistance, and the decrease of oxidative, oxidative stress in your circulatory system. And out of this, there are many studies pointing out that the French paradox, remember what I told you at the beginning, the French paradox is a very real situation that we see in Europe. Pe populations that drink wine tend to live longer than populations that don't drink wine at all. So remember, you may see health benefits just with one glass of wine every day. If you need something natural that can help you support that bodily function of your circulatory system with maybe low blood pressure, high blood pressure, cholesterol controls, uh, there are many supplements that can support that. For example, Antioxy Pro from Fineland, you have Heart Excel if you have, maybe if you want to help your body reduce blood pressure, Heart Excel, Garlic Gold, 
or you have on cardio in general just to keep that resveratrol found in red wine in your system. On cardio from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. Number two. Okay, number two. What does wine do for our brains? For, for the longest time now, we've heard and we've seen that alcohol consumption can actually deteriorate the brain in many aspects, right? But there are other studies that have seen that taking just maybe half a glass of wine or just a glass of wine every day can actually prevent the acceleration of neurodegenerative disorders that lead to dementia, Alzheimer's, and many others. So, what has, what, what has been discovered? Consequently, wine polyphenols, and these are resveratrol and many others, um, can actually function in the individual's oral, oral and gut microbiome, meaning bacteria, right? So basically, uh, recently we've discovered and we've seen that having good bacteria in your gut is going to make sure that you're absorbing or you're keeping nutrients inside your body that are going to end up in your brain, right? So drinking wine can actually help increase these bacteria that are going to help increase some of the nutrients and some of those dietary effects of, uh, you know, whatever the brain is going to need. So this is basically what's going on. So the greatest challenge is, and now they say, right, so this is considered one of the most important discoveries of wine, but it's a very promising strategy to help with the progression of Alzheimer's. And yes, it is, because everything you eat is going to end up in your brain. If you're going to eat fat and fried foods, it's going to end up in your brain. If you're going to eat um, always potatoes and wheat and breads and pasta, it's going to end up in your brain. And guess what? You're going to go slightly uh, diminishing your memory without return in some cases because people don't want to change their diets at all. So if you need something natural that can support your body's ability to keep those nerves functioning properly, look for Neuromatrix. This is a bomb of a supplement. I love it. It's, it's spectacular. Neuromatrix maybe for dementia, memory loss, something that can support your body's ability to keep that brain functioning, Burbrain or Curcu Health and Metathyroid. Burbrain is just spectacular. Metathyroid from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. All right, number three. What does wine do in general, right? At the beginning, we talked about lipid control. We talked about um, polyphenols, we talked about oxidative stress, very important in, in circulation, but there's something, there's an ingredient in red wine, and that's why it's red, actually. It's resveratrol, very expensive, by the way, very expensive, but very effective also. Resveratrol is an active, is, is active in the prevention of cardiovascular diseases. This is a conclusion of many studies. Um, by neutralizing free oxidant radicals and reactive nitrogenous radicals. It penetrates the blood-brain barrier and thus protects the brain and nerve cells, reduces platelet aggregation. Guess what many people take every day to prevent clogging and to prevent a, uh, a bad circulatory system? They take aspirin, which is and does and actually um, cancels out platelet ag aggregation. And so counteracts the formation of blood clots and thrombi. That's what I just mentioned, right? So if you're going to take red wine, you're not only going to see the protection of your nerve cells, but also a better circulatory health because there's going to be less clots, less thrombi. There's going to be more of a, of a uh, nutrient distribution in your brain. And actually, the let's say, the possibility of your nerves to recuperate and see that health is coming back as oxygen and nutrients are irrigating every single part of that tissue. So one glass of wine, just one glass. Now remember, don't overexceed it because it's going to have probably the opposite effect due to the, due to the alcohol it contains, okay? Number five. Now, if you need something natural that can help you with the uh, insulin resistance you might be facing, which is going to mess up your circulation, cholesterol, triglycerides, glucose levels inside your body, and many more aspects. Look for metaglucose from Fineland from, at finelandvitamins.com. And I also love to take Oxy, Antioxy Pro, which is spectacular because it gives you so much energy in the morning. You can take three capsules a day or 
maybe something like Neuromatrix. Um, and there's another one, which is probably one of the strongest, uh, Dia Aid in powdered form from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. Number five, okay. Blood pressure, glucose, and type two diabetes. A lot of people say that if you have diabetes, you can't take wine or you can't take alcohol. I'd say that wine may be one of those uh, beverages you can omit from this category because it's shown that if you take just the right amount of wine, no, not more than that, red wine, and you take it every day constantly for like maybe a month, two months, and it doesn't exe exceed that four fingers of that glass of wine, you're gonna see a better control of your glucose levels and blood pressure also, and lipid profiles if you have type two diabetes. Conclusion, this meta-analysis reveals that moderate wine intake, and the key word here is moderate wine consumption, among type two diabetes patients could reduce the levels of diastolic blood pressure, and also glucose, but not glucose parameters in this case, not reduce them, but help you control them better? Yes, it does. I have other studies that I won't show you today because we don't have time, but many aspects of those cardiovascular uh, risk factors just reduce and you have a better circulatory health. And last but not least, this very important health benefit, cognitive decline. We've mentioned it just a little bit, but this is a meta-analysis of longitudinal studies, okay? So many other studies talking about the same thing again, saying that moderate uh, alcohol consumption in the form of red wine shows a protective wine consumption against cognitive decline. Remember, moderate. I, I know a lot of people that just like to take wine all the time, and that is not the solution. Maybe, maybe sometimes it's it's a complication that you're gonna see after the consumption of red wine when, when it goes over your limit. If you need something natural that can help you deal with uh, maybe weight loss, you wanna deal with weight loss and you need something to help control those blood sugar levels and help you lose a lot more of those lipids and fat you have, Looker Figurizer and Garcinia, which will take away that anxiety that you might be having to eat more foods. I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Don't forget to give this video a like button. Don't forget to share. And God bless you all today and always. Take care.